All right, what's going on everybody? My name is Intellect, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Guardian Tales. So, okay, let me just go and download this game right now. Um, to summarize, honestly, it's one of the best gacha games I have ever played, period. It's got, all right, I'll just get into it later, but. So right, what you're looking at right here is pretty much the base home screen, the uh, heaven hold, they call it. And so you can tap these characters for points or you can go to your base, which is your inn, and collect all. Um, if you've played games like Dragalia Online, you'll be familiar with this. Uh, but there are some good incentives, like you can build these secret shops, which offer you better items. Um, just things like this, the Seal of Goddess, which is actually Plitvice, a, it's a three-star legendary character. Which is fan-fucking-tastic. So you re-roll, I luckily got Bari and uh, Eugene right off the bat, so she'll be she'll be good on my team with fire and as a sword. Um, so what you'll do first is you'll go into adventure. This is the clear map. I don't want to show you me running through a dungeon because some of them do take like 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, just look at how large these maps are. And I'm not even sure if I found every secret room. Um, then you have these smaller side quests like these that are pretty much linear. If you want three stars, you have to go through, collect all the chests, the, uh, these like yellow gold cubes, I guess. And then these, whatever the purple item is for the stage. So this stage, it's, uh, wait, which chapter am I at? So for magic, sto magic school, it will be, uh, these spell books. Um, there are a ton of pop culture references, by the way, like this magic school is literally about the Chamber of Secrets, and it's like, it follows very similarly to the movie uh, for some of the story. Um, they even call people muggles that aren't like magic imbued, which is crazy. So I've had to spend some decent time. I'd say I've played like six hours a day, honestly, since global release, which was two or three days ago. I'm up to world six. There's a total of world seven right now, and I heard it's done up to world 10. But over here in the chapter selection, you have one through six for me right now, since that's all I've completed. They're all completely different. You can see a little snippet of what the maps will look like. They put in a hell of a lot of work into the art. And then you have, generally you go up in difficulty in these games and it's just, well, that's pretty much it, just difficulty, right? But not in this game. The entire map is pretty much reworked. It's the same general layout, but everything is just placed differently and there's a different story to it, which I was very pleasantly surprised. I haven't unlocked Hell yet, which That'll probably take me a month, to be honest. <laughs> so Arena is only open for two hours a day, which actually kind of sucks. But anyway, so Adventure is great because there's so many puzzles. If you've played like old school Pokemon, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's been so long since I've actually had to like we can just browse through some of these maps. It's been so long since I've actually had to go on YouTube and look up like guides and how to get to places and specific items because just look at this like what <laughs> and then uh <laughs> so you get these exp points and you go up here in the top right and you can level up your characters by just holding it down um you have all these tasks to finish right now i'm saying download this right now even if you i don't know maybe you are busy and but you plan on starting eventually because you get these events right now just because it's new global launch um where you get like a most people are talking about the 60-60 where you get 120 mileage, extra mileage credits on top of originally summoning, I want to say, 120 units. So 60 units, 60 weapons. Um, and then now we'll move on to the rift. So this is more typical for your gacha, but there's a twist. So these rotate. So damage reduction dungeon today is water and dark type. So there are things like the, uh, like the skill dungeon where only weapon skills and chain skills can uh, defeat the enemies. Things like that, I like, I like the nice twist. And then you have Awakening Dungeon, which is arguably the most important. You get three tickets a day. I'll run through this just because they're quick and just to show how unique it is. So, so what you do here, it's, <laughs> yeah, this game does not take itself seriously, which is great. So it's about illegal parking, and your goal is to destroy all these cars, which it's a little harsh, you know? 
I've gotten some parking tickets. I'd be pretty bummed up, if, bummed out if somebody blew up my car. But uh, yeah, that's what you do. You just blow up the cars, and that's how you get your points. And it's fantastic. I love the system. Uh, we got your resource dungeon with. Uh, let me go back. Yeah, you got gold, EXP, and item dungeon. Item dungeon is just for the uh, reinforcement hammers for your equipment. I'll get into that in a second. You got these the tower tower challenge of 50 floors. Uh, I don't want to make this too long, but yeah, screw it. Let's let's check it out. Let's do a quick run through if anything. So each floor is completely different. It's full of puzzles or boss battles. And here you can see like your typical gameplay, I guess. This one seems seems a little boring. More like the uh, just like the battle type. But most of them are puzzles that you have to fall, uh, solve. Where's the heart? I just woke up, give me a break. <laughs> so I'm using Bari at the moment, which is a range, kind of like an auto aim dealer. And then the skill you see in the top right that's on cooldown is linked to your weapon, actually. So each character also has an uh, exclusive weapon that gives them special skills. Um, I don't have them for any of my characters right now, sadly enough because it's like purely RNG. I've gotten quite a few weapons, but I don't have any heroes to use my ex eh, exclusive weapons with, so. So this one seems pretty straightforward. You literally just fight through. It's there, I think that's it. All right. So you just hold down the button on the banner. The large running button seems unnecessary, but it's actually used for literally everything. For picking up items, throwing items, pushing items, blowing up items, etc, etc. For any world items, I guess. So there you go, there's stage 43. It's pretty straightforward. Let's get out of here. Let's go take a look at Colosseum. So Colosseum is similar to like chess, so you can set up like how you want your characters to run. Uh, I think I'm gonna run like this, yeah. And then over here you can see your enemies and their DPS and toughness. So let's just go with the easy one right here. Let's start this battle. And then it just auto battles. Um, for auto battling, there is auto battling, but not for adventure mode for good reason. The, the dialogue in this game is so impressive that I, like normally in gacha games, uh, I normally just skip through the story, whatever, and then you get to endgame raids and the PvP and such, but I really want to, I really just enjoy the story. I spent a lot of time just reading through it and exploring the maps. That's another thing in gacha games. I've never had a gacha game. I've been playing gacha games since Ray Frontier, which was like eight years ago or something. And it's been so long since I've actually like cared and like read through everything in the story and it's... Fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it. I won't say this game is for everyone, but I think everyone should at least try it. So this is Arena. Um, it's open just, I want to say once a day, but I think it's twice actually. This one says in preparation. I'm not even sure why that says that, but it opens around that time and then it opens at 12 my time also. So we're open right now. Let's do, ooh, I got two minutes to uh, do an Arena match so you can see how the real time PvP works. Uh, my team is not kitted out for this, by the way, so I'm probably gonna get shit on. We'll see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, she doesn't. So. Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Son of a bitch. No! <laughs> I screwed up. So, those little crates right there are actually damage buffs. You little asshole. It's hard when you both do it at the same time, because you can't tell who actually got it. So I'm only- which is great. I'm screwed, to be honest. <laughs> so you get three characters. I don't think your passives actually carry overs from single player, so it doesn't matter who you use. Um, I'll get over that in just a bit. So Bari is notoriously annoying in PvP, which is why this dude just kind of like, fuck it. Yeah, that's why he's going for the crates rather than trying to fight me, because he knows he's going to lose. I don't actually have her EX weapon, which gives her like a 40% boost in attack speed. So that's why I'm seeming so slow right now. But obviously she's not the toughest character, so I gotta kind of... Oh, I'm fucked. 
I don't know, she could actually attack through those boxes. Most characters can't. Like Tinia, the new banner character. Um, this is Eugene. She's got a motorcycle. I mean, what is there not to love about this, right? And then, I guess this is more of a showcase of just like sprites and how the game looks. Because I am completely screwed. But this is only day three of PvP, and you don't even unlock PvP till chapter four, so. Yeah, some of these people people have been grinding their asses off for their gear, you can tell. Like, damn, I thought I was going hard. <laughs> but anyway, so if I go back, you also have these challenges right here. So right there, I just got my daily done arena three times. You get 50 gems, I think it's 300 gems per summon, which kind of sucks. And then you also have a battle pass over here with all your past missions, pretty standard. Um, you come over to this banner on the right and you have, you collect these event points while you're going through story and then you can spend it on all these. I mean, this is, there are a lot of rewards. It's impressive, honestly, especially if you're trying to free to play, I wouldn't be afraid at all. This game seems very free to play friendly ish, unless you're going for like top 10 PVP or something. Um, so going back, to your heroes, you have a selection of four heroes on your team. Max level is 63, but I haven't beat the story yet, so I can't actually unlock level 63 for my characters. Um, that's also another thing, it keeps story very challenging. Like, there's actually one stage, I think the last boss of chapter 5? I actually had to use gems to revive myself, because I literally could beat it. And it's been so long since I even, like most other gacha games, you get a good reroll, you don't give a shit, you know, you just slap that auto button and then run. But not in this game, you have to actually know how to dodge and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So each character has their weapon right here in the top right. She uses baskets. So every character has like their own set uh, weapons that they can use. Um, this is for defense. You get rings and visors and things like that, earrings. They just buff your defense or toughness rating. And then you got costumes, so let me go over here. Uh, this is for the knight. And look how many costumes there are, it's crazy. So you just choose one you like, slap it on your... The base art doesn't change, but it changes in-game. Like when you're running around and such. Um, and then you also have these two card slots on the right. So the card that I have right now is 8% increase on enemy kill. But as you play story, you meet other characters, and then you they end up uh, dropping you cards for finishing their side stories. So that's how you get those. Um, I think I'm pretty much set. There's guild, but I literally just left my guild. Um, so of course there's guilds and such, and then the, the guild raids don't actually open up until next month, I believe. A bit into the next month. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There isn't much else to say. It's just, honestly, if you like gacha games for this story, you won't be disappointed. I can promise you that. Um, like for, I've actually gone through and like come back to missions like this where I've run it like three or four times and literally couldn't figure out where the final items were and had to look them up. If you're into challenges, this is your type of game. It's not the type of game you kind of just AFK and just mindlessly auto through, you know? There are a ton of stages. The dialogue is hilarious. I would recommend actually reading through them all. The story is pretty damn good too. Um, it's, it's whack. <laughs> I'll say that. So they don't like, like, say for example, level 5 to level 6, they don't really explain anything and all of a sudden you're just a midget and you have to save these gnomes from an attacking ant army while like a human being runs around and tries to slap your ass. It's, it's, it's interesting. Interesting. They're doing something different for sure and that's what I respect the most about this game, but yeah, I think that'll be it for my review today. In summary, play the shit out of this game. Let me know how you think. Let me know what you think about it. Words are hard. Um, the story is incredible, the arena, guild, everything, the sprites, the audio. Honestly, I it blows my mind how few people know about this game and how little they're throwing into actual marketing. It's an original IP. Um, but yeah, let me know if you download and enjoy this game. I would honestly recommend this to anyone who's trying to get into gacha games, because if they ever played like old school Link or Pokemon or anything that like that I guarantee you they'll love it and yeah that'll be it hopefully tomorrow I'll be back on exos I'm planning on making a review on UP's labyrinth and also iris and yeah that'll be it thanks for watching